Hey YouTube, it's Jared, and today I'm going to be reacting to Eurovision. Let's do it. Before we get started, if you want to keep up to date with my reaction videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please and thank you. Today, we head over to the United Kingdom. Hi home. <laughs> Uh, where they have internally selected Oli Alexander to represent them with the song Dizzy. You might recognise Oli Alexander as the lead singer of the group Years and Years. They had moderate success in uh, the United Kingdom and Europe. Uh, the group disbanded and Oli continued to make music under the name Years and Years. And I think now he's just dropped it completely and it's just going to be Oli Alexander. I'm going to say something controversial, get brave. I really wish that the United Kingdom had uh, a national selection again to see who would represent us and not just keep internally selecting. I'm just getting a bit of a fatigue with it. I just think it would be nice to have uh, existing artists or up and coming talent all compete against each other to see who would represent us rather than just picking someone who is already established. Hey ho! So, the United Kingdom, they are one of the big five. They qualify for the final every single year uh, because they put a lot of money into the competition, which keeps it going. Sorry about it. They are the second most successful country in the competition, tied with France, Luxembourg, and the Netherlands, with five wins each. And they have the most second places in Eurovision history. Uh, most of those are from the 60s and the 70s. I mean, there was like 20 years back to back of being in the top 10 and then they dropped out of it. And then eight years back to back being in the top 10 and they dropped out of it. And then 11 years back to back of being in the top 10. And since then, it's just, it's not. <laughs> since the turn of the 21st century, they've been in the top five three times. Uh, third place, 2002. 5th place 2009, and 2nd place in 2022. I'm not going to lie, there was a string of really, really, really bad results for the United Kingdom uh, until 2022 when Sam Ryder got a 2nd place and it was, it was mind-boggling to watch that happen in real time. We are hoping to continue that luck and to maybe get another top 10 here. Um, and maybe the popularity of Ollie will be enough to kind of push us to the left side of the scoreboard. I don't know. It really does depend on the entry, and I think that's what should matter. Let's see if Dizzy is enough to get the votes. Let's go. Moroccan audio. So this is... Oh. Straight in with the synth. No breaks for us. Okay, so we instantly came in with this synth sound, a uh, clear inspiration from the sound of the 80s. Almost, almost very close to Pet Shop Boys, It's a Sin. That sounded, you know, straight away, I kind of got influence from that. Nice steady beat. Let's see where it goes from here. Beautiful gardens, eternal flowers, you know the way, so take me there. Very Sia-esque music video, I think. <laughs> We're getting Chandelier Part 2 with this. I can see what they're going for with this already. Um, I'm, I'm kind of on the fence with it at the moment. But I do like the nod to the sound of the 80s, um, which, you know, is the greatest decade of music ever. That's interesting. That's really nice. The... Uh this rotating set that we have here. Yeah, I really enjoy this rotating set. I think it's an interesting concept. Um, it would make for great staging if you could pull that off at Eurovision. Uh, the camera angles, the focus on this choreography, this sudden movements, I I like it. Um, I don't know if it matches the song, 
I think I'm kind of looking at two separate things here. We've moved on to a new land. It's quite haunting, actually. I think we've opted for more of a physical theater as opposed to contemporary dance, uh, which I'm not mad about. I think that's a good idea um, if it's pulled off well. It looks great. I think with the set, especially in this second area we've gone to, it's quite haunting, um, which again, I, I, I think it looks fantastic. I just don't know if it matches with the song. Inspiration from the groups of the 80s uh, is clearly there, and I think that's a, it's a good nod to them. I think, you know, it's, it's a great sound to try and duplicate, to try and mimic. Uh, 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 we're not really getting a separation from it. There's not really any kind of build happening. It's consistently on the same level. Respectfully, I think a lot more focus has gone into the music video than the song. <laughs> But I think I do like it. Yeah, the monologue. Rather short monologue. <laughs> it is very catchy and I like the focus that we have on the, the, well, the setting uh, that he's performing on. I think implementing that into the live performance could be the make or break for whether it's on the left side or the right side. I'm a bit gutted towards the end. I really thought we were going to get a bit of an oomph moment, but we just kind of got a toned down head voice final note. Um, it's nice. It is very, it's very catchy. Uh, it's very on brand for this artist as well. Uh, I think it, it is a good pop song. Um, and, uh, you know, the, the kind of homage to the synth sound of the 80s, uh, it's, it's present, it's very clear, and I'm a fan. But it doesn't really build anywhere. It was consistently on, it was quite one note. Um, and I'm just going to be honest, it doesn't really feel like it's the entry for Eurovision. It just feels like um, this artist is going to be doing a, project and this is a promotion for them it feels more like a promotional opportunity than this is the entry to represent the united kingdom for eurovision that sounds really bad but i just i yeah i'm, I'm looking at this i'm list, i just listen to this and i'm just not feeling anything from it i don't feel like that's the winner that's going to win this person's come to compete i think die hard eurovision fans such as myself uh, when you look at something like this it's are you taking it seriously or not? And I know the whole competition is supposed to be about fun, but when you deep dive into the songs and the artists and the countries, and when you actually go in there um, and look at it from a different perspective, I just don't see this on the level I expect the entry should be. It is a great sound and, you know, I, I can't really say anything until I see the live performance of it and that could change everything as it does in Eurovision. Uh, but I don't look at this as a winner and I don't really see this as a top 10. Um, 
I feel like the only reason we might be pushed to the left side of the scoreboard might be because of the popularity of Ollie as a contemporary artist. Uh, ugh, yeah, no. I'm just not overwhelmed. I'm I'm whelmed if. I think that's pushing it. I think the music video was great in terms of the staging and the set, but the song itself is just... It's very mid. <laughs> oh, God. I feel so harsh saying it, but I, you know, I, I am, I'm completely honest in these reviews and this is just not up to the level I expect it to. And I, I kind of, I'm putting everyone up here, but I will keep an eye on this. So I'll be open minded. Uh, I will listen to it a few times. It, you know, it is a catchy song. I think it might get ingrained in my, in my brain and I will eventually learn to love it. Maybe, but it will come down to the live performance and that could change everything for me. I might see it and say, okay, that's a winner. Um, uh, probably not. <laughs> but I wish Ollie all of the luck when performing it uh, and good luck to United Kingdom. That's what I thought of the United Kingdom entry. What do you guys think? Are you a yay or a nay for this? Um, really be honest with me. What do you think about the song and what do you think about the staging, the set, the lighting, all of the, the production behind that. Do you think they work together? Am I just, am I going crazy here? <laughs> Let me know down there in the comments. And as always, I will see you on the next one. Take care guys. Bye -bye.